So Pinterest and YouTube cannot help themselves. I wouldn't necessarily blame YouTube, but I'm going to anyways because they kind of deserve it. So recently, as of today, I was watching a bunch of videos, Tim Pool would be one, and he was talking about when one of his video being taken down, demonetized, actually totally completely removed. For what? Privacy violations. Funny thing is, is that about the Pinterest story, that's already it's already public news. That's already out there, and it's already in BitChute. So why is YouTube taking it down? Are they beholden to Pinterest steely grab? I kind of doubt it, but um, I have a funny feeling that uh, <laughs> you see, he's already Pool has already made his money on it because he's not demonetized yet. But he's already made his money on it. So why are they taking the video down if it's already out there? It's already public knowledge. Interesting. Strice said the fact that anyone? So this first news article is from uh, LiveMint.com. I'm going to show you some couple. So uh, it says, Pinterest is dragged into a U.S. culture wars after it bans anti-abortion group live action. Okay, this is the whole... The spiel of it. This is what uh, Project Veritas got that guy who got fired from Pinterest, essentially, for outing them as anti-conservative and their bias towards them. It says, while conservatives complain of censorship, liberal groups argue the opposite. The social media sites carry too much misinformation. But there's not misinformation. Facebook in particular, Facebook particular, particular has been the center of social media debate. So, an effort by a social media company, Pinterest, to limit the spread of medical conspiracies, has theories that blocked one of the most prominent anti-abortion groups in the U.S. from sharing its content on its site, and has put the social media company squarely in the middle of today's culture wars. Ding dong. The anti-abortion organization, Live Action, a conservative activists, at least they didn't say far right, James O'Keefe, alleged Pinterest targeted a group of first abortion stance, not for the reasons this company claims, is a princess action first putting Live Action's web domain on a blocked pornography site, which they did. Then banning the organization altogether are part of a large effort by social media companies to cycle conservative voices, which they are. See, James O'Keefe blew this wide open. Um, go on. Uh, so yeah, so basically just talking about, um, they don't really go into what really happened. So. The Pinterest email to O'Keefe also said that the porn list was mislabeled. Right. Sometimes, our, this is a quote, our internal tools have legacy names for the technology that enforces some of our policies. This technology was named years ago to combat porn and since expanded to a variety of content despite retaining its original and internal name. We are updating our internal labeling to make this clear. O'Keefe and Rose said Pinterest took live action off its porn lift after getting a call from Comic Project Veritas. Hours later, though, live action got an email saying it's been suspended. Quote, your account was permanently suspended because its contest went against our policies on misinformation. How convenient. We don't allow harm for misinformation on Pinterest. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's that one. But it doesn't mention the woman who stated that who put this on it? They actually gave names like Megan something. So we're gonna go to this one. This is from uh, CBN News, a Christian Broadcasting. It says the pro life pro advocacy pro life advocacy organization live action announced Tuesday morning that it had been permanently banned from the popular social media site Pinterest, which suggests the anti-abortion group traffics in harmful misinformation that could be that could have immediate detrimental effects on pinners' health or public safety. Huh? And so, so, um, she was a bunch of stuff and a bunch of tweets from Allison Santafante. Says, uh, one of her tweets basically said on June 11th, what exactly is Pinterest attempting to block? Inspirational messages of pregnant mothers, ultrasound images showing the science of prenatal development, and images saying women deserve better than abortion industry leader Planned Parenthood. I can agree with that. Um, so basically the statement from live action is page permanently suspended because of its contents went against our policies and this information. The note went on to claim live action spreads medical information and conspiracies that turn individuals and facilities into targets for harassment and violence. There's no evidence to suggest that. None. Zero. So that's a blatant lie. Um, come on here. 
Okay, we go to this one. This is from um, PJ Media. YouTube removes James O'Keefe and Tim Pool's Pinterest videos due to privacy claims from a third party. That third party is either Pinterest or the person who they outed as doing the the, the slacktivist, the slacker channel, the slack slacking channel, whatever the f that is. Uh, YouTube has removed Project Veritas Pinterest video expose as well as a video by independent journalist Tim Pool discussing the explosive story. And all Tim Pool did was discuss it. That's it. Thanks to Pinterest whistleblower, Project Veritas was able to expose the platform's gross bias against conservatives and pro-life Christians as well as anti-war leftists. There you go. Both videos were moved due to, quote, privacy and due to a privacy claim by a third party. YouTube sent Project Veritas President James O'Keefe an email pinpointing where the problematic content occurred in the video. The 27 seconds that YouTube wanted to remove before the video could be restored showed an online communication between the Pinterest law enforcement and government operations Lego program manager Megan McClellan. This is in the news, by the way. News, YouTube. Get it right. This is in the news. It's public knowledge now. Ding dongs. The smoking gun screenshot showed McClellan adding liveaction.org to Pinterest porn domain block list. Quote, this is legitimately newsworthy information without which it may be a story that is O'Keefe explained in a new video on Friday. We're not talking to anybody. We're reporting facts as the public has a right to know. There you go. That's from PJ Media. Okay. We'll go to uh, the, the, the Federalist. Twitter is now banning conservatives for investigative journalism about big tech's abortion activism. After the reporters of Archie Bear published information of a whistleblower in Pinterest headquarters revealing the social media site against pro-lifers, Twitter joined in the censorship. On Wednesday, Twitter banned Project Veritas for violating its, quote, rules against posting private information. When Facebook and, I think, doxed the guy who, quote, unquote, put that drunk Pelosi video out there, even though she, even though he says that, quote, he didn't do it. But they still did anyways. But, you know, they're not banned because they've got much skin in the game, if you will. So one of the things Project Veritas also discovered that the term Christian was removed from the auto search, autofill search functions and the for time users were not allowed to post any pins that linked to pro-life act, pro-life live action website. Internal lists show that the live action was on a banned list of porn sites and banned entirely. See, there you go. Um, so yeah. So then uh, James O'Keefe showed his video being unavailable. Then uh, as OAN host Liz Wheeler pointed out, Twitter apparently has a double standard for when they decide publishing leaks violates the rules. Previous revealing reports that leaks from a journalist were not banned for sharing, quote, private information, considering the sharing of President Trump's tax returns or the countless hacks from WikiLeaks shared on Twitter, including the Democratic National Convention's emails and U.S. Army intelligence. This is a tweet from Liz Wheeler. This is crazy at Twitter now censoring at Project Veritas for publishing quote internal communication from Pinterest at Pinterest in which they call at Ben Shapiro a white supremacist. Hmm. Did Twitter apply this so-called privacy standard to WikiLeaks or HRC's emails or Trump's tax returns or Trump's tax documents? Nope. Um, according to the new Twitter rules, how funny that they just pop them up out of the woodwork. According to these new Twitter rules, their privacy standards exist to protect only those who engage in the same biased censorship that Silicon Valley tech companies are notorious for. Last week, YouTube demonetized conservative comedian Stephen Crowder, meaning that he could not earn revenue for his content like any other YouTube video creator. Exactly. So there, that's from The Federalist. We'll go to this other one. This is from Breitbart. YouTube censors Tim Pool video on Project Veritas Pinterest, ex Pinterest expose. YouTube took down a video from independent journalist Tim Pool discussing Project Veritas, a recent interview from the insider at social media platform, who exposed anti-Christian bias at the company. Pool said that unlike other video takedowns, YouTube tried to remove his video quietly without notifying him. Hmm. See, but see, Tim Pool's a little smarter than that. He's like a cat. Whee! Pool's, uh, the journalist shared an image Showing that there is no explanation for the video's removal, Pool says this is unusual even for Google or on YouTube. Quote, I've never seen this before, Pool said. Any removal usually has a line of text explaining it. They never got an email or any kind of notice that was quietly removed without telling me. Pool later clarified that he discovered 
did discover an email from YouTube notifying him of, him of the takedown, but said that quote it did didn't come to in, didn't come in in a normal way unquote. Poole said the email is hidden away in the social tab of his Gmail account, as opposed to his primary inbox. How convenient. YouTube, owned by Alphabet, which is under the auspices of Google. Hmm, interesting. Um, and Breitbart's on the case. So yeah, so there you go. I just showed you some already published information that's already available on the internet through just a Google search, wink, wink, that this is, a, this is available. That woman who was reporting the story, Megan McClellan, is in these documents right here that I have my hand right here. Documents. Hold on, I'll do that thing that Alex Jones and uh, Rush Limbaugh do. Right here. They're right here. And also post them as I'm reading, as you'll see. So if this video gets taken down, so be it. But I just proved, because it'll be also on BitChute, by the way, that I just proved that this is private, this is not private information. This isn't. This is already out there. I'm sorry. This isn't doxing anyone. This is news. YouTube, understand this is N E W S. News. News. So, I don't know. Handle it and stop, stop taking people's videos down for stupid crap.